starting in 2019, and for three and a half years, the Agro Bioheat Project has promoted the mobilization of the abundant agro biomass resources of Europe for generating cost competitive renewable heating in rural areas. refers to biomass obtained from the diverse activities of the agricultural and agri-food sector. It can be agricultural residues such as straws and stalk obtained after the harvest of grain from annual crops, vineyard, fruit tree and olive tree prunings. from stems, branches and stumps produced when these plantations are renovated. Byproducts of agro-industries such as olive stones, nut shells or sunflower husk. also be produced through dedicated energy crops such as miscanthus, willow and poplar which can be grown in available or idle agricultural lands or can be object of implantation to provide environmental services like reducing erosion and capturing carbon in marginal or abandoned lands or to restore contaminated lands. the agrobio heat project some years ago we were well aware of the huge agrobiomass potential in Europe but also the fact that there were only isolated examples of sustainable heat production using agrobiomass and of the fact that uh, the polluting practice of open field burning was still widespread. So our idea with agrobio heat was to design a project that would try to overcome some of the barriers for agrobiomass exploitation at the local level. But how can agrobiomass be used for generation of heat in rural areas? Agrobioheat has documented hundreds of them. Let's see a few examples. In Greece, a district heating system in West Macedonia supplies its customers through the use of biomass mixtures using a relevant share of maize residues providing a sustainable alternative when phasing out centralized fossil-based facilities. In Croatia, the town of Krzevci has established a service to gather the biomass from orchards and gardens, solving through a circular economy approach the management of local residues, which are utilized in the facilities of the local utility company for space heating. In Romania, Sol Farm is an agro-industry, producing and marketing potatoes, soybeans and rapeseed, which covers its facility demand for heating with local agricultural prunings and wood chips from willow, planted as energy crop. In France, the Murgon village took the initiative to use local resources for switching to renewable heating and installed a boiler using the residues of field hedgerow maintenance to provide heat to five municipal buildings, including the town hall, canteen, recreation centre and the public school. In Spain, a pioneering olive mill has established the first world gasification plant of olive cake to supply power, heat for drying facilities and biochar as high valuable co-product, leading to a unique example of circularity in the olive oil sector. 
In Ukraine, the winemaking company Shabo exemplifies the decarbonization of wineries, using their own field byproducts like vineyard pruning wood to supply their energy needs on steam, hot water, and space heating. sector in Europe represents almost half of the total energy consumption, and 80% of it is still based on fossil energy. If Europe is serious about reaching these 2030 targets, all renewable energy sources must be deployed. And in this context, agrobiomass is just the perfect solution for substituting fossil fuels in rural areas. Besides replacing fossil fuels, in an affordable way, bioenergy and in particular agrobiomass brings additional benefits. It provides some use for the residue for crops or products and therefore avoiding its burning in open fields. It promotes the concept of circular economy and it triggers rural growth development through the creation of new business lines and jobs. In terms of combustion, agrobiomass is a more challenging fuel than wood pellets or wood chips, which are commonly utilized in bioenergy systems. Agrobiomass usually has higher ash contents. Moreover, it often shows elevated contents of certain elements, which can cause operational problems in the boilers, as well as elevated emissions during combustion. However, within the AgroBioHeat project, we performed comprehensive test runs at test stands as well as heating plants, which showed that the technologies for an efficient heat generation from agrobiomass at low emissions and acceptable maintenance efforts are already available. Agrobiomass is a reality more extended than usually thought. Some countries like Denmark have relied for decades on agrobiomass as a strategic national resource on which to base a modern access to sustainable energy. Uh, in Denmark in the 1970s, a strategic decision was made to use agrobiomass in our energy supply uh, after the uh, OPEC oil crisis. So uh, over four decades, we've matured the technologies and it's in operation on all scales. Um, so, for example, in the background, we have the Vispia CHP plant that supplies the city of Hopkins with uh, 37 megawatt of electricity and uh, 77 megawatt of heating to the, the, the city of Hopkins. Agrobioheat has worked for 42 months to trigger the use of agrobiomass in Europe. Actions of information, promotion and support for an adequate framework have been carried out in six countries in parallel with actions with key actors at Brussels. Agrobioheat has served to rescope the vision and make more effective the modern and sustainable use of agrobiomass. By using agrobiomass for heating in Croatia, we can suffice half of our primary energy production. That way, we will create green energy jobs and start the growth of local economy, but also uh, reach national and European climate energy goals. Owing to agrobioheat, we conducted emission measurements at two operating biomass heating facilities. The results proved that modern agrobiomass boilers could operate within the required emission limits. The implementation of agrobioheat showed to agricultural cooperatives and their members that an alternative management of agricultural residues is feasible and their involvement in the development of new agrobiomass supply chain can make it sustainable. We have created a high interest into agrarian and bioenergy key actors to further boost agrobiomass use and we have exemplified by supporting the uptake of several pioneering initiatives with high replication potential both in Spain and Europe. AgroBioHeat project has greatly contributed to the promotion of the One Village One Megawatt initiative developed by Green Energy Cluster from Romania. Local stakeholders, communities have been engaged to mobilize local biomass resources for their local energy demands. Thanks to Agro 
BioHeat project, we have highlighted some rural collective supply chain initiative in France, some testing to turnkey heat safe service as a new economic model for uh, energy service companies, some buying equitable hedge pruning to farmers in a common and sustainable management, offering essential ecological services for the farms and fitting into rural conservation and protection of cultural and landscape heritage of hedges. Europe is compromised for a full decarbonization. Europe needs energy diversification with endogenous sustainable resources. Go for agrobiomass.